Let's learn how to use the draft feature in Fusion 360. My name's Adam James and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for jumping right on in. Now I know some of you may be asking, what's a draft and why should I be interested in learning how to incorporate it into my Fusion 360 workflow? And the answer to that is plastic parts. Plastic parts commonly use draft to assist with ejection from a mold cavity. What draft does is it basically prevents the sidewalls of the part from being parallel to the motion of the mold opening in an injection molding process. To demonstrate that, we can take a look at this housing from say a Wii console. And if we go normal to the front plane, you'll see that on the left side, you can't actually see this sidewall because they are perpendicular to the bottom of the face. Yet on the inside, you can see that it is not perpendicular. This is the draft, which essentially assists the part from being ejected from the mold. If we look at this, we can see that we have about a two and a half to three degree draft from the sidewall. So within these tutorials, we'll go through how to add draft to a simplistic shelled out box like this. We'll then go through the proper workflow to apply draft on a heavily filleted object. And then we'll understand how you can incorporate a parting line while applying draft. Now this housing design uses a parting line to have different sided drafts on either side, similar to this uh, icebreakers gum container that I modeled this after. So let's get started. We'll select new design at the top right here. We'll left click on create sketch and we'll sketch on this top plane. We'll go into create and then we'll select center rectangle. Select the origin and then left click and hit escape. D for dimension on this top line, we'll give it a dimension of 80. Oops. And then D for dimension and we'll make this 80 as well. We'll finish the sketch and we will left click on our sketch profile and hit extrude and then we'll go up 80. So now we've got our box. Let's shell the box. We'll left click on shell in the modify tab up here. Left click on the top surface, then we'll just give it a wall thickness of three and hit enter. Great, so if we look normal to this surface, you can see we do not have any draft yet. If you do see some of the sidewall, make sure that you're in your display settings in camera Make sure that it's not set to perspective, because if indeed it is set to perspective, when you look down, it's going to appear as if there's a draft, um, when in fact that's just the camera settings within Fusion. So make sure that in your camera settings, it's set to orthographic. Great. And then we're going to go up to modify, and we're going to select draft. So we'll keep it on fixed plane for now. For pull direction, you can select either the top surface of the draft plane or the bottom. Uh, and I'll show you the difference between selecting the top or the bottom here in a second. But for now, let's just select the bottom. For faces, you want to select all the faces that you want uh, drafted. So in our case, we want all of the inside faces. We will control select these. Great. And then we can uh, one of two ways at the angle, we can either do it with the slider um, or we can do it manually in the window here. So we could do say three. Now, this of course is not the correct draft <laughs> we're looking for. Uh, actually, let's do like two, maybe even one. So what this is doing due to the fact that I have selected this, this bottom face here, is it's drafting and taking material away from the top instead of adding material to the bottom. And what it's doing is it's making a very thin walled plastic part on the top. So let's actually redefine the pole direction surface here. Uh, let's left click on this X. And then while it still says select, let's select this top surface instead. And then when we pull our draft, it's going to actually add material on the bottom instead, which is exactly what we want to do. So we'll just do maybe 2.5 and hit enter. Looks good. So now when we uh, select this top 
a plane here and we're normal to the surface, we can see our draft is added on all sides and we're all set to go. Let's move on to the next example. So let's go up here to create sketch. We'll create a sketch on the top plane here. And then we'll just create a box. So we'll go to center rectangle, left click on the origin, left click and hit escape. D for dimension, left click 80, and give this a dimension of 80 as well. Finish sketch, and then let's extrude this 80 millimeters. And then let's shell this again. Left click on the top, three millimeters, great. And then let's fill it all of these edges. So just select fill it at the top in the modify box up there. And left click on all of the edges of interest. So we'll left click on all four of these. We're doing shift middle click to rotate the model. And then we'll keep control selecting these. And let's just do maybe 25. Hit enter. Okay, great. And then we'll do the same thing. So fill it and then we'll do the outside. Control selecting all the way around. And 25. Great. Now let's try to draft this. Select the top face here. Or excuse me. Uh, yeah, top face there. And then all of our faces, it's going to give us this error, right? An existing fillet or chamfer could not be deleted. Try suppressing or deleting existing fillet. So as one of my high school engineering teachers once said, a draft, or excuse me, a fillet is like dessert at the end of a meal. You've got to eat the appetizer and the main course first before you reward yourself with the dessert. And that's exactly what fillets are, right? So let's do that same workflow, except let's delete the fillets here. In the history timeline, you can just control select and then right click delete. But before we add those fillets this time, let's just go into modify draft. Let's select this top surface here, and then we'll control select all of the faces that we want to modify. And it's giving us a three degree draft. I think that's fine. And left click on OK. So our draft is there. Now let's go into the fillets and try to select all of these and do the exact same thing. OK. And look at that. I mean, it, it looks really good. It has all the fillets in there and they're all drafted. Uh, and then we can even Fill it the outside as well, 25, boom. So now if we go top down, you see we have this drafted surface. We don't see it on the outside. All of our fillets are in there looking great. So the next example, we'll go up to new design. And for this example, we're going to left click on create a sketch and left click on the top plane here. And we're going to sketch a center rectangle. So we'll just make this maybe D for dimension 40 millimeters and the bottom or the side rather 40 as well. Finish the sketch. Let's create an offset plane. Select the top plane, drag this up to maybe 60 millimeters, hit enter. And then we'll left click on this top construction plane we just created and then do create sketch. P for project. Uh, we'll just select all of these edges we just created in our previous sketch, and then we'll select OK, and we'll do O for offset, and then just control select all of these edges that we just projected, and we'll give it an offset of maybe 8. Perfect. Let's control select all of these lines that we projected and hit X just so they're construction lines. Awesome. So we'll finish sketch. And we'll go up here to create, and then we'll select a loft. Left click on the bottom profile, and then left click on the top, and then select OK. So we've got our uh, the shell for our ice cube, ice breakers gum container, I guess. Uh, and then let's create another offset plane here, though. This is going to represent our parting line from the top cap 
to the rest of the housing. So I think if we just make that five millimeters offset, that's probably fine. Do okay. Um, and actually we want to create the sketch on the front plane. So go into sketch and then just left click on this front plane. And then we're just gonna make a line. So we'll go all the way across, making sure it's horizontal, hitting escape. And let's see if we can make these coincident, this line and this plane. No, you can't, okay. So D for dimension, probably could have eliminated that step, but um, make this five, five millimeters from the top and hit escape, finishing sketch, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into draft. So modify at the top, uh, left click on draft. And then we're going to go into the parting line type this time. So for pull direction, we're gonna select this top surface here. For parting tool though, we're going to select our line which represents the parting line. And then all of the faces, we're gonna do the outside faces instead. Um, control selecting all the way around. You can kind of see what Fusion does is it extends our the parting tool all the way across our geometry. And look, it's already actually done it. Uh, you can see instead of following that line all the way out, we want to add a draft inwards uh, because this is going to be a separate part. Uh, and that is going to allow us to eject from the mold from the opposite side uh, if this is a separate part. So, I mean, 15 degrees is a lot, but let's just do okay. Great. Uh, if you wanted to change the bottom of that, actually, let's right click on the draft and edit feature in the history timeline. You can go into draft sides and you can click two sides. And what that allows you to do is actually edit the draft on the bottom part as well. And you'll see what I mean here. Uh, we don't need to because we already created that loft which demonstrated our draft, but kind of unique or, or cool in the sense that you could do that in the feature itself too. So let's do cancel. And then what we can do is shell this entire body. And we'll give it a wall thickness of maybe three. And then we're going to go to modify, split body, select body one for body to split. And then for splitting tools, we'll just select that plane that we made earlier. So I guess we did need to make that, right? And then we'll select, okay. Let's hide our construction planes and then do inspect section analysis. And we can left click on the front plane here and do okay. And you can see exactly what this did is now we have these two parts, uh, a lid and a body. And if we hide body, one, you can see that after we shelled it, and let's turn off our analysis and go normal to the bottom view, is we have a draft angle on the inside after we shell it. So a different approach to uh, using the draft feature on multiple bodies uh, to create kind of an enclosure with a parting line. So I think that's actually really cool. You know, you've got a top and a base. All right. That's all there is to it. If you guys found any value in this tutorial, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.